Good day everyone, my name is Resty May and I am here to discuss my topic about representation of pop culture superheroes in the society in Philippine pop culture subject. Representing superheroes in the society has impacted to a lot of people, the diehard fans, the ritual watchers, movie critics, comic writers, and the directors in the movie universe, and they change the views of pop culture every day. Representation of pop culture superheroes in the society. Superheroes gives us reason that allows our psychological courage and model to represent. Goals and perseverance are essential to a perfect role model just like what we can be. Precisely like any superheroes, Spider-Man, Captain America, and Iron Man, the, the character of these superheroes hold great things just like an example from Spider-Man. A quote, with great power comes with great responsibilities. The morality and power to do the right thing, even when it hurts. Stan Lee, a famous writer, artist, creator of the famous superheroes we know today, Thor, Spider-Man, Hulk, and many more, he co-created Black Panther, a superhero of color, a gorgeous representation to the black culture released in 2018, an antidote to the black American by Volks.com 2020. Many thought of African people as savage, opposite, and chaotic in everything, but its portrayal has left little room for other interpretation, a part of wave entertainment that's expanding the scope of black narrative representing strong black bodies of justice. For Asian representing superheroes in our culture is the infamous Darna, created by Mars Ravalo in 1951, a favorite Philippine local superhero with strength, heat vision, and flight, swallowing a magical stone and shouting Darna, having the same concept of the Western superheroes. In the end of every story, good defeats evil. Even in the real world, good will always prevail. How does superheroes able to represent today? In pediatric hospital units, there are children dealing with difficult situations in their lives, dealing a heavy weight every day. Some people, like our superheroes we know today, dress their costume and portray their roles and visit the children and thank them for giving them strength to keep fighting. In the real world, a big kudos to our nurses, frontliners, and humanitarian for showing indescribable work and commitment to the situation of COVID-19 up until today. Every day I saw during the pandemic, humanitarian workers have stood on the front lines dealing with challenges arising from COVID-19. In these extraordinary times, despite the very real danger to themselves, Filipino frontliners put their own safety and well-being aside to provide life-saving support and protection to people most in need. Humanitarian workers have stood on the front lines dealing with the challenges arising from COVID-19 and other disaster events, according to HCTPH August 2020. Until now, globally, COVID-19 the virus might still be our supervillain. But it does not deter our real-life heroes from doing their job and tirelessly working to find ways to combat the threat and eventually beat the nemesis. As a student, representing superheroes to pop culture does connect and we are upholding in the midst of adversity. The tradition of celebrating the best of human, kindness, social justice, and resiliency with our Bayanihan spirit. It represents that not all superheroes wear capes. I salute our frontliners and humanitarian continuously putting their lives on the line. Their efforts must not be overlooked nor forgotten. Representation do matters and it's vital in our society today.